hello guys welcome to the another video so today we will discuss about some important question asked in sapient interview question sapient interview so this uh, video is going to be very interesting today i mean in few last few days i have seen a multiple messages or emails from uh, sapient hr so uh, there are multiple openings are there in sapient so you can apply uh, to those uh, vacancies or opening so before that if you haven't subscribed the channel so i request you to please subscribe it for more such videos so let's get started so the first round is coding interview and that will last for 30 minute and uh, the question is like uh, uh, the written uh, coding interview question which is print the highest and second highest integer uh, from the array so here you need to <coughs> get the uh, highest and second highest uh, value within the array itself so you can use sorting and there are multiple mechanism or methods uh, are there to get the highest and less than highest uh, or second highest uh, value so you can use that and whichever language you want you can use that too so once you are done with the coding round and uh, you have so you successfully cleared that coding round then you can appear in technical interview so in technical interview that is last for 1.5 hours and the questions are tell me about uh, yourself as it is i mean you need to explain about your roles and responsibility projects and your experience your uh, tools and technology that you have worked upon so all those things next is explain your automation project framework uh, so again this is very uh, basic and expected interview question like you need to explain your framework whatever framework you are using it could be bdd it could be your uh, uh, hybrid or data driven or any other uh, framework using selenium or you are using playwright on any other tool like cypress and all those things so you can explain in that like how you uh, keep your utility files and all those things like uh, logger reporting mechanism and listeners and uh, test classes and page objects so you can explain like all those things next is write a program to find the common element between two array lists so uh, interview will ask you to share your screen and uh, uh, write uh, the uh, program to find a common element between two array list so the important part is like uh, uh, he can ask you to share your screen and write the same program in notepad rather than using some ide so you have to prepare or you have to uh, uh, you should know how we can write like uh, in notepad rather than in ide because ide id used to give us some suggestions but in notepad we uh, don't have next is <clears throat> write a program to uh, fetch the value from the map using key so this is like uh, you can use entry uh, map or map dot entry to get the uh, values from the keys or key set next is uh, this is more like for java so all those questions as you can see map and all those things are uh, these question are related to java next is exception handling <coughs> in java so what is exception handling how we can handle the exception what could be the compile time run time uh, error uh, and how we can handle that so all those questions next is can we have a catch block without try and try block without catch so this is very important question and uh, if you haven't tried uh, the exception handling in your code or in your framework then obviously it might confuse you or you will think like uh, can a try uh, block is possible without the catch block surely that is not but obviously interviewer might confuse you in this direction next is can we handle exception without try catch very important first firstly you want uh, you to explain exception handling have you used that if you yes then what if i am not going to use try catch or exception handling how you can how you will handle the exception there is something in selenium or test ng uh, through that we can handle the exception in the at the rate test so you if you know that then you can answer uh, these question so what are the major exception you get in selenium so you can uh, you can just tell the interviewer that these are the exception like driver exception page not found exception driver exception no such element exception timeout exception still element exception and all those exception pillars of oops obviously that is very important so what all oops concept why we use that class object uh, abstraction inheritance polymorphism encapsulation all those things what are the uh, <clears throat> where have you implemented encapsulation abstraction in your project so if you have used then explain him what is polymorphism and types explain it what are the interface have you used interface in your project so even i have seen these questions asked when i was giving interview so they want i mean they want like if you know oops concept have you used those concept in your framework and how you handle the, uh, the criticality and reusability in your framework by using these all things next is 
हाउ विल यू सेंड अप एरो एंड डाउन एरो इनपुट इन ए टेक्स बॉक्स यूजिंग एक्सेंस और ऑल दोज थिंग्स एक्सेंस क्लासेस देर इज ए ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट ऑन ए वेब पेज अलॉन्ग विथ ए लिंक टू अनदर पेज अपॉन क्लिकिंग ऑन ए क्लिक ए न्यू टैब ओपन देर इज अनदर ड्रॉप डाउन हाउ विल यू फाइंड द कॉमन ऑप्शन बिटवीन दीज ड्रॉप डाउन सो दिस इज द रियलिस्टिक्स ऑटोमेशन क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू जस्ट टेल हिम दूर अप्रोच एंड सेकेंडली माइट आस्क यू टू राइट सम कोड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इट नेक्स्ट इज वॉट आर फ्रेम्स हाउ विल यू हैंडल आई फ्रेम्स वॉट आर द एनोटेशन इन टेस्ट एन जी सो यू कैन यू शुड नो दल एनोटेशन लाइक एट द रेट बिफोर बिफोर मैथड बिफोर क्लास बिफोर स्यूट एंड आफ्टर मैथड आफ्टर स्यूट एंड ऑल दोज एट द रेट पैरामीटर एट द रेट डेटा प्रोवाइड एंड ऑल दोज एनोटेशन दैट आर यूज इन टेस्ट एन जी एक्सप्लेन डिपेंड्स ऑन एट्रीब्यूट सो डिपेंड्स ऑन यूजली यूज फॉर डिपेंड्स ऑन मैथड डिपेंड्स ऑन ग्रुप एंड समथिंग लाइक दैट सो दिस यूज टू पास इन एट द रेट सिंटेक्स विद इन एट द रेट ब्रैकेट इन द टेस्ट एन जी सो जस्ट ट्राई टू सॉल्व दोज क्वेश्चन at your own and you know how you can answer these questions if you haven't tried all these because these are these questions are real questions so if you haven't tried you i mean you will you unable to answer all those things so just try at least these question at your end how will you pass parameter test ng so passing the parameter we used to use a parameter tag in um, we used to create a test ng dot xml and we used to pass the uh, uh, parameter tag and include uh, and put our parameter name and value so once parameter there we used to pass the at the rate parameter uh, at the rate param parameter in our test ng test class so it used to and the important part of parameter is that you have to execute your test case using test ng dot xml if you are going to execute it through the test class it will give you some exception related to the parameter that you have passed for parameterization and it will ask you to provide optional parameter something like that because you have uh, describe or uh, you have described parameter in test ng dot xml and you are executing it from the test class what are the groups there are five test method with priority minus 1 0 np 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 and all the node priority so in what order they will be executed so this is uh, just uh, uh, to check how we can execute the priority and how we can set the priority in test ng and if we haven't set the priority what is the execution and vice versa next is what do you know about jenkins next is suppose you are working on regression suite and smoke suite how can you create trigger for both suites he might ask you to do the same thing in parallel mode or and or series mode like again question about your daily roles and responsibilities or some scenario based question so so this is all about uh, uh, sapiens interview question so you can see this is more about automation they ask you about java test ng selenium and uh, all those things so if you like this video please subscribe the channel and